This video will walk you through importing alignments and surfaces from Bentley inroads into Leica survey software. This video applies to Leica SmartWorks Viva, Leica SmartWorks Viva LT, so both the blue and the orange versions of SmartWorks, as well as System 1200 onboard firmware. Let's start with Bentley. All right, now we're in Power Inroads, version 8i, and I have a geometry project. So here I have a horizontal only surf alignment. You could have a horizontal and vertical, but in this case, I just have a horizontal. And what I want to do is I want to be able to stake this horizontal alignment with verticals from a DTM. So rather than having to go through and drape everything across each other, what I want to do is just take my horizontal alignment, and then I have a surface here as well. And I want to bring that surface across with these triangles. And I want to drop that in, and I want to stake horizontally from my alignment and vertically from my surface. So to bring these across, I need to use the Leica translators. Now, inside Inroads, if you go to Tools and Application Add-ins, you can find all kinds of different tools to add in. And included in here is Export Leica DBX 1200 add-in. At the same time, there's also a Leica tra Translate Leica DBX add-in. So pick both of those two and say, OK. And when you pick those two, when you say File, Translators, you'll now have two options. So in this case, what we want to do is take this alignment and this surface, and we want to export that to a DBX. So we'll say Export Leica DBX. Now, here I can just pick what I want to export. You'll have all of your alignments and all of your surfaces. So I can just highlight the ones that I want to bring across. And in this case, I want to bring my fair train and my fair OG. So that's the original ground from this one. And I want to create a, like a project name of fair ALN. So let me rename this correctly. And then a fair DTM. So I want to create these two new DBX files. So now pay attention to where you're going to save it and always make sure we save it to a DBX folder if you want to use it directly. So in this case, I'm going to send it over to my simulator. It's an SD card in the DBX folder. If I had a card ready to go from a system, I could just go directly to that SD card and record it directly into the DBX folder. So now I'll click Apply, and the files have been created. So I can close this and we'll open up the simulator. All right, now we have our simulator open. Everything's ready to work. We're in a random job um, points. If I've got control, I'd already want those over here. So now we'll say go to work and I want to work in my roads. So now I've got everything set. We already have a road. We already have an alignment. So we can go straight into something. And in this case, I just want to check my road. I want to be able to do my alignment and check the DTM so I can walk anywhere, see my station, offset, cut, fill. So let's go to road check. Now I want to use an alignment from a road job. So I should be able to pick here, change over to my SDK, SD card. And here I have a couple. One was from an earlier export. But here's our fair ALN that we just made. So I'll say OK. Now, I want to say down here that I want to use a DTM model as well. So we pick here, switch over to our SD card, and there's our fair DTM. So we can say OK. So now we have an alignment and a DTM we want to use. So we'll say OK. Now, what do we want to stake to? Well, there's only one align in our alignment, so a regular line will be here. I'll say OK, and OK, and we can continue in. So we'll start with our first station. In this case, we'll just start at zero just to begin. Uh, we don't want to refer to an additional line, and we'll just continue on. So right now, we will be staking, and we're we're set for our general, our point if we stored one, what our offsets, what our info, what our station offset would be, and a map to see right now. And in this case, we'll flip it so we can see ourselves horizontally. And here's our actual line and our instruments over here a long ways away because we haven't oriented our instrument. One thing that's happening right now, though, is we're staking from just our alignment. We haven't told it to use our DTM. So let's go function tools, and let's choose use heights from DTM. Let's use DTM right here. Let's show our DTM on the map. And why don't we just show our DTM height difference on the info page as well? So now we can say OK. And if we zoomed in, and there you can see we have a DTM and our alignment in blue 
that we'll actually be staking from. Obviously, I need to get my instrument over here and on the DTM in order to do something, but there you can see that we actually have this. If we had gone and brought a, D, a DXF file in as well, you'd be able to see that on top of it. But now we'd be staking our DTM in accordance to our alignment as we go. All right, as easy as that was, we want to make sure that we've got everything we need in there as well and that there's no troubles. So one, some things we need to do is watch how the export actually happened. We want to make sure all the files were created and that our units were correct. Units will be the biggest problem that we've seen. So uh, on the export, we export an XML file from Bentley and then take the XML file and convert it into our Roadrunner job. So there is a possibility of units being messed up inside there. So what we want to do is check the files to actually see the units for the way we want them. And then at the same time, we want to see that the files were actually created the way we want. Here you can see the actual files in the directory that we used. So here you can see all the X files that are created with the DBX when we said create DBX, and you can see the XML files that we created in the beginning. If you're missing all of the X files, that means that the Bentley translators tool that's in Bentley didn't get installed correctly for some reason or another and some of the files may be corrupted or missing. Our support team at survey.support at likeus.com can help you. That email address will be up in the next screen as well so you can see it and remember it. So if you open up your DBX folder and find that you have no DBX files, they can help you through getting these. Also, we want to check our units. So if we go to this XML file and just browse and look at it, we can see the linear units that were exported here. We want to make sure that's what we actually used in our job. Uh, meters has no problem. International feet has no problem. Sometimes we've seen XML files created by Bentley being labeled as foot, even though they're US feet. The correct answer there would be US foot. So if this says foot, you know you used US feet, there is a problem. And the DBX files will be created in international feet, not US feet. The problem with that is that's the label. So it's not like you can just change the unit in our system because it will do the scale for you correctly. We need to correct the problem here and not use those DBX files the way they were made. Um, if that's a problem, contact support. We'll be more than happy to try to work on you. Some other ways or export in meters or international feet and then switch the units once you're onto the controllers. That's a simple switch. The in Bentley, you just choose meters and or choose international feet, create the exports, and then on the controller, flip it into your US feet or whatever your system settings are. So, We'll check our files. For more information or for any other videos, check our YouTube channel. Also view our website at www.lika-geosystems.com. For any questions or issues you have with these, contact survey.support at likeus.com. We'll get to you as fast as we can. And then also make sure your equipment's registered on MyWorld at www.myworld.lika-geosystems.com. There you can find downloads and key codes for all of your existing equipment. Thank you.